Hi everybody, welcome back to the Revenues channel. Today we're gonna look at the Black Series Lando Calrissian. This is the three and a quarter inch uh, Black Series figure. And these are the smaller ones and it's really cool. It's uh, repackaged, I believe, from the Legacy line, uh, which are very hard to combine. So what uh, Hasbro did is they uh, basically uh, make the collectors like ourselves quite happy by having a reissue of these figures in a different packaging uh, Simply so more people can get their hands on these awesome figures without having to resort to eBay or Evil Bay and pay 80 bucks 100 bucks per figure uh, Which is of course insane, but that's uh, the way how scalping works and of course there is a demand for scalping so that's in a vicious uh, circle unfortunately but these figures will help us to uh, buy these figures at a fair price at uh, your local store if scalpers didn't buy them all up <laughs> uh, Lando, a uh, really cool figure, he has a cloth um, cape uh, this piece is a little bit weird but we'll look in, that, uh, in a short moment uh, of course a nice holster for his blaster side of the box back of the box if you want to read his bio pause the video okay let's be i'm gonna open this baby up and then uh, show how this figure looks like from close up and welcome back so we got lando in front of us a uh, really cool figure uh he has his uh, removable removable cape let's take it off for a moment and take a look at the cape putting down the figure uh so this is lando's cape it's a nice cloth piece um, I do wish they uh, did something else with this uh, elastic band though, this is really cheesy, uh, like it would be nice if they had a chain or something, or something that looks a little bit more uh, in proportion with the figure, this is obvious just a uh, elastic band uh, that, that they put on there, uh, that's a little bit of a shame, but nonetheless it's a, a, a cool clip. Uh, going to the figure, so we have Lando here in his Return of the Jedi uh, uniform. I believe this uh, is the uniform he wears uh, when he's on uh, board of the Millennium Falcon with Nee Nump uh, to uh, attack the uh, second uh, large Death Star. So this is more like a Rebels outfit for him. And show you his face. Um, nice paint app. Um, again, these figures have a really nice amount of paint. They, uh, the paint in general is done quite nice. The applications are done quite um, flawless. Not too many slop all around. Now let's go into the figure's um, articulation. His head is not on a ball joint, or it is, but it can pivot. It can just turn around and that's it. Uh, it cannot look forward too much, mm, slightly, slightly looking uh, downwards, but it's it's very minimal. His arms are in the ball joint, and it has a cutout here in his armpit to make the arms more flush with his body. Um, that looks pretty cool, actually. And it extends all around. It can go up because it has an elbow swivel or, or ball joint, I should say at the elbow it can rotate all the way around his hands are on a swivel as well can move all around then his torso can move all the way around and his leg yep he can do a actual i don't know how to call this in english by the way but <laughs> he can go pretty far with his pose uh, but Lando is of course the womanizer, so I, 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 I wouldn't be surprised if he was very good at yoga and stuff like that. So he has knee shove, uh, knee bends as well, and his feet has a, um, can rotate. So if you want to pose him like this, like, oh, my feet, uh, you can do that. Um, they don't swivel though, it's just a rotation on the, on the leg itself. But these figures have a lot of possibility. And I can see why so many uh, collectors are unhappy with the fact that um, the new five point of articulation figures from The Force Awakens, Rogue One, are so limited. And uh, I can I can see your I can see definitely their point. Um, I do like my five point of articulation figures a lot though. And uh, but uh, yeah, the the miss of articulation is something that is uh, that is definitely there, and that is something that is. 100% back with these figures, so if you're into that, uh, you can collect these figures. Now, I don't 
I think with a little bit of ingenuity, you can actually remove his um, his holster if you want. I'm just gonna leave it on. I'm pretty sure you can manage to get it off in one piece. With and then we have his pistol, his blaster. It's a very tiny blaster. Um, it's a it's a decent piece, uh, molded single piece of black uh, with. I don't know if this sticking out piece is actually a piece of the mold or there's just some excess uh, plastic. But uh, nonetheless very nice, he can hold it in his finger, he has a post, -t -post trigger finger, actually in both hands. Um, so you can post that pistol in either hand and it makes him look badass. Um, I prefer to pose him with the pistol in his holster, either inwards or outwards. Uh, I think uh, it's supposed to be this way, so the pistol grip should uh, point towards you. Um, a very cool figure, I really recommend picking uh, picking him up. I don't think there are too many Landos out there, so uh, having uh, more Landos is never a bad thing, because Lando is a really cool um, character in the Star Wars universe. And that's it, I hope you liked the video, and uh, see you in the next one, stay scummy!